Well, Catherine, you're on the air. Okay, thank you for selecting my call. Uh, Dr. Yes, Wallet, one of my uh, relatives just uh, has been diagnosed with MS. She is, I would say, about 24, 5. She just graduated, got a job and everything, went to the doctor, and that's what they've come up with. They thought she had a stroke, but then now they're saying it's MS. would like to know what are some of the things that can help her. She does not want to take the meds. The doctors are talking to her about because she says that the the okay. too many side All right. Um, how much does this uh, young lady weigh? I would say maybe about 150, 155, somewhere in there. Okay. And does she have any other issues, you know, any blood pressure, diabetes? Does she have any skin problems, eczema, dermatitis, any asthma, bronchitis? And not... I'm not really sure. Okay. But, uh, All right. It's been working with the nurse now. Okay. Okay. So that's good. All right. Here we go. This is a sharp thing. Okay. MS. And of course, the same approach nutritionally would be useful for Parkinson's disease, MS, Lou Gehrig's disease, which is ALS, and, and Hunting's disease, those four diseases. So what would you do for this young lady here, Charmaine? I would get her on one or two healthy brain two. and heart packs. She's yeah, I'd go for two. Two, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she needs to eat a gluten-free diet, of course. No burnt animal fat, none of the bad stuff, no oils of any kind, no fried foods. And then she needs to eat a lot of eggs and butter and rebuild her brain back. Okay, what would you do to get her stem cells happy and working? I'd give her the immortalium. Okay, you get an A-plus, dear. Okay, Char's right here, Catherine. Um this young lady needs to have all the bad stuff out of her food, the things that actually caused MS, are fried foods, processed meats, oils, and that includes salad dressings, cooking oils, mayonnaise, um, uh, olive oil, coconut oil, margins, uh, microwave popcorn, theater popcorn, absolutely no gluten, no wheat, butter, and oats, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, deli slices, sandwich meats, that sort of stuff, no fried foods, I can't say it often enough. These are the sort of things that cause the damage. As Char said, in addition to getting rid of all the bad foods there, um, this uh, young lady needs to be eating uh, steamed vegetables and eggs, and I'd like her to see at 155 pounds, eating uh, 8 to 10 eggs a day. Uh, they can be soft poached with a soft yolk. They can be soft boiled with a soft yolk. They can be in soft, soft, soft scrambled in butter, not oils or margarine. Uh, that's to help rebuild the part of the brain that's damaged when you have MS. And then... Um, she will need two of the healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything at breakfast and dinner time. Uh, she'll also need the immortalium to encourage stem cells to do their job and get busy and rebuild stuff instead of hibernating. And that's immortalium. I'd have her take two or three of those tablets twice a day. That's two bottles a month there. And then I would throw in the um, uh, antioxidants. We got we to gotta help the brain get rid of those free radical damage lesions in the brain when you have MS. And that would be the Beyond Tangerine 2.0 tablets. I'd have her take three or four of those twice a day. That'll get her up over 160,000 towards 200, 300,000 ORAC points uh, a day. And that's going to support her own immune system to help the brain remove these nasty little spots in the brain that cause MS. Give us a call in two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Uh, you can start her diet today. And, of course, if she lives in North Carolina, it'll take maybe – um, a working week to get the products to her, but she can start the diet immediately. Call us at two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. 